Hi guys, Tops here from Just One For All. Today I'm going to show you, I'm just getting ready, this bed ready to grow sweet corns here. The sweet corns are already about that tall in pots over there. Um, this bed hasn't been used for about six months since last summer for growing anything. But we've used the top of the bed to put compost bins here and make compost. So there it has nutrients has gone in and I'll add some slow releasing fertilizer in there, so like fish bone, blood and fish bone. So on the next part I'll show you us putting our sweet corns in here. We've got 12 sweet corns here. Two or three of them are quite weak. So I would say we've got 9 to 10 good sweet corn healthy plants. They've gone a bit long in these pots. See the roots are starting to come out. I've been injured so it's time to put them in and the weather's improved as well. Now when you grow sweet corn guys, you want to grow them in a block. I'll show you. You want to do there, there. So if you have four plants, you'll do it like that. Okay, you see these four? Like that. So when they grow, they'll self with the wind, they self pollinate each other. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do a row like that. He might not get any pollination, the wind might be going that way, or the breeze might be going that way. They might not get pollinated. You want to do them in blocks. So I might do. Uh, I've got 12 plants, so I'll do 3 by 4, 4 that way, 3 this way, and make it into a block. And I'll space them out about 18 inches, that much. So what we're going to do guys is, 1, 2, 3, I've got my 3 weakest plants, so I'm just putting them on that edge, and then do another row. And do you see how I've dug inside there? Sweet corn has very shallow roots and the roots start to surface when they're about a month or two month old plants after you've done it into the ground and what we're going to do is bring the soil back to cover the roots and it won't dry out if you have a look here we've got some homemade compost so give one scoop in each one so this will give you like a boost Dig it out. There's a nice root there. Just like one. And I'm not moving very well, but I'm still carrying an injury. There's another one. And there's a nice root there. Alright, so equally spaced out, give them some more good stuff all around. Alright, I'll do that for the rest of them and then I'll show you what else we do with these. So we're on the last three guys. This is to give it a good head start, nutrition and a boost. They've been well watered, good root system. better root system there. and the last 
last one for this year, sweet corn. The home sweet corn tastes so much nicer, guys. Pick it. Quick boil. Little bit of butter. Absolutely delicious. Some more compost all around for the roots. So as soon as they come into contact with this home made compost, they'll have a sudden boost. Bring back some of the soil. Give it a firm press to anchor. Some more. Some press. As they grow about that big, there'll be shallow roots here. We'll just bring the soil back to cover the roots. All right, so that's why they're in a slight dip here. You will need to stake them to support, because sweet corn in the garden, too windy, they can become, with the wind, get broken. Give them a good drink. The water helps it settle and obviously during the sunny warm day helps to hydrate the plant. So mainly just giving it around the root ball. A couple of years ago guys we had really windy weather and quite a few of my sweet cones broke. So I've decided I'm gonna give them support from the very start. At the moment the root is very enclosed, when the root grows out it's got good anchorage, until then I'm just going to keep it caned. And if you have a look here, it's really loosely, so very loosely I've tied twine, cotton twine around, string will do the job, just to give it support. So if we get gust of wind, less chance of this plant breaking. It shouldn't break anyway now. All right, so they've been well watered and now they just need to grow, grow, grow and give me lovely sweet corns. If you like this video guys, give us a thumbs up. Lots more little tips like this coming in all areas. We cover all subject areas and many, many different types of things. Please subscribe, give it a go. You never know, you might find something you like. What's the worst that can happen? Thank you now, bye-bye.